وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَةً وَمَنْ يُوقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِي فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا بعدهم يقولون يقولون ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين وإياك الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الطالين آمين الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters and our beloved Imam Imam Abu Ishaq is on now الحمد لله How are you Imam? I'm very good الحمد لله لا بارك فيك الحمد لله Good to see you <laughs> and this is first time that I, I ha haven't had a chance to meet you, alhamdulillah. So before, before you start, let me introduce you and introduce your topic, inshallah, and then uh, the mic is yours, inshallah. So, dear brothers and sisters, tonight we have a special guest, another special guest, uh, Imam Abu Ishaq Abdul Hafiz. So uh, let me quickly... Uh, introduce introduce our beloved Imam, inshallah. Imam Abu Ishaq uh, was born in Gary, Indiana and graduated from Tuskegee University. Uh, he participated in the first Imam training program hosted by ISNA in 1978 and 1979. Uh, in 1980, he was accepted in Arabic language institutes at King Saud University in Riyadh. And also he served as staff chaplain and supervisory chaplain in the Federal Bureau of Prisons for 23 years before his retirement in 2009. And the Federal Bureau of Prisons recognizes our Imam as a Muslim subject matter expert in corrections. And in 2019, he became the resident Imam at Masjid al-Sharif in Long Beach, California. And tonight his topic is, inshallah, finding the ways to do good in difficult times. Please welcome our beloved Imam, Imam Abu Ishaq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala al-khatm al-anbiya wa mursaleen, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa man tabihum bi sana la yomi deen. After praising Allah to Baraka wa ta'ala and sending salutations on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I thank you, my dear Sheikh and Imam and beloved brother, for inviting me and having me to participate in this uh, wonderful program uh, that 
the Islamic Center of uh, Los Angeles has been putting on uh, through this difficulty that we found ourselves. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala continue to bless each and every one of you uh, who participate and who make this happen. Uh, as we began tonight, remembering the families that are grieving for the thousands uh, that are dying daily, over 210,000 persons just from this uh, tragedy, uh, this, this pandemic uh, here in America, not to say all of the other different uh, deaths that people have had. And when we look at the, the struggles with the Black Lives Matter and the uh, upheaval, whether it's from uh, abuse of law enforcement or the violence that we find in our cities, whether it's the trauma that we are witnessing with our brothers in Azerbaijan uh, at this moment, uh, our brothers in Syria and in Iraq and in uh, so many places, uh, life is, 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 is terrible for so many. And for those that would look at it only from a negative, we want to be mindful uh, of what Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala you know, tells us in, in so many beautiful ways uh, throughout the Quran, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala addresses in ways in which we should be able as believers to respond uh, in the times of difficulties and in the moments of, of trauma and tragedies. And we have Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has shown us through guidance uh, as well as with the, the Sahabas and the Tabari in how they dealt with the tragedies and the uh, struggles that were confronted by themselves as well as all of the other NBI and, and that came through time, went through struggles. So struggles for humans is not new one acting upon their faith is what we want to be able to draw from. And when we just began looking at, at, at Surah Asr, well, Allah Subhanahu says, well, Asr, and Allah Taala addressing that through time, verily men are lost. And when we look at the history of humans, we see that that is the truth. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he qualifies that by saying, إِلَّا لَذِينَ amanu wa amilu salihati," Except for those who believe, believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believe in his books, believe in his prophets, believe in the qadr al-khayrihi wa shahrihi, believe in already the, the decree of that which is good and that which is bad is going to take place, and believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that that after every difficulty comes ease that after every difficulty comes ease. So Allah SWT lets it be known that men are gonna be lost through time. And when we see these traumas and these tragedies, whether it's the hurricanes that was just being experienced down in Texas and Louisiana, or the fires in Northern California, there are those who become despondent. There are those who become full of anxiety and, and depressed. And those who only wanna see the negative, but we, the believers, when we come together, with belief and with mutual understanding and reminding each other of the good and the opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making available. Because in difficulties, there's an opportunity. And this is what we want to be able to take advantage of is the opportunities to do good during these moments that families are lost. These moments where we can't physically be in our comfort zone, coming to the masajids and the Islamic centers and being in each other's presence, but we find ways to still be there for each other, inspiring each other through programs and through counseling and through ways, through the mechanism that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made available through us through these mediums. And this is how we want to see things is not from a negative, but from a positive. So that inshallah, our goal can be maintained and that goal is Jannah, the Akhirah. And Allah constantly and consistently shows us how short this life is. He shows us how fragile this life is, how weak this life is, how unstable this life is, how insecure this life is, so that we can stay with our eyes on the prize. And so in these opportunities that we can be able to please him by giving of that in which he has blessed us with to serve others. And this is why there are ways in which for the brothers and sisters who are struggling, whether it's in Kashmir or whether it's in the, the battleground places or where the refugees are, that we can be able to support helping hands or Islamic relief or other entities, doctors without borders, 
where people go and place themselves in those situations to make a difference. And when we see the thousands of people throughout Southern California on the streets, living in cars, then we can be able to see how the Islamic Center is providing food. This is something good, not just for the Muslim, but for all of the people that are in need. And when you can't be able to partake of financially helping, find ways to come and just give of yourself. Find ways to just come to volunteer. Find ways just to keep on making your du'as. Because that's still doing something good. And this is how we want to be able, inshallah, to use our day and to use our time and to be mindful that each day that we breathe is a day of respite. That we know that we're going to leave here and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the moment and the hour and the circumstance, but we know we're going to leave here. And we're watching and witnessing people dying every single day. So what am I doing preparing for my grave? And again, finding ways to do good. And as many have been engaged with the political uh, reality that's around us. And to alhamdulillah, many Muslims are being engaged in these activities or being engaged with the uh, civil disturbances that are taking place. But as Muslims, we have to be mindful in our collab collaboration and working with others that we want to be about good. And we want to be mindful what Allah SWT tells us, ta'awanu bi bir wa taqwa that we want to be able to inshallah cooperate with others in our interfaith connections and in our relationships with the, uh, the, the, the different groups that are fighting for their rights. But we want to make sure that inshallah, we're doing it in the best way and we're bringing good and we're striving and inshallah, we're saying peace with peace, not peace or justice or justice or peace. No, peace and justice. This is the perspective of us as Muslims, inshallah, because again, this is what we represent is good. And when we can reflect upon how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown us over the last 100 years, there were many persons after World War I that thought the Islamic world was over. Many of the, after the, the, the caliphate was taken away and the Ottoman Empire was dispersed, Many thought that that was the end, but a hundred years later, alhamdulillah, we see Muslims in lands that Muslims were not in, in the numbers in which they are. After 9-11, when there was so much disturbance and so much negative uh, publicity about Islam, alhamdulillah, over the last 20 years, 50 to 60 masajids and Islamic centers have opened across this country. Thousands of men and women in the jails and prisons are embracing Islam weekly and daily not because of some charismatic personality, but because they find a word from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they see the Quran or they see just a pamphlet on the Quran and they get to hear about the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the good that Islam is. And we see in multitudes of people coming to this faith, even though on the surface, we all thought it was gonna be difficult. It was gonna be something negative about Islam, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is in charge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in absolute control and he is all powerful and almighty. And we know we serve a loving God. We know we serve a merciful God. And this must be the good works that we, the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, must continue to share and to begin to show the community. One of the most beautiful things that occurred after 9-11 was because prior to that, oftentimes our doors were closed. Oftentimes we didn't invite our neighbors to come in, but following that we opened our doors much more and we began to collaborate much more and interact. And they found out that we was a good partner, that we was a partner that really had something to bring to the table. And we bring something additional to the beauty of being in America and being Americans and raising our children in America. They see in the good that Islam does bring to the society and the reminder that we continue to have for our own selves and for others to do good, to please Allah. We aren't striving to be in any disposition of rank. Our goal and our objective is to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, accept our efforts so that we can continue what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he started. When he received the first revelations and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deputized him to be the seal of the prophets, we're so honored by Allah that we would be in the ummah of Muhammad. And we just want to show our gratitude and our gratefulness by in these difficult times when people are desperate and people are hurting that we can bring this message of love. 
we can be the embodiment of peace. We can be men and women and youth who give of themselves unselfishly, all because it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who it is we're striving to please and not the society in and of itself. We're striving to produce young men and women who inshallah will take on the reins of being leaders in the community because they will be honest. We're raising them to be honest. We're raising them to be fair. We're raising them to place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost in their lives. And as they witness these realities and these truths, again, we thank Allah as we've witnessed the history of Islam over the last hundred years and we're being a part of the history in this moment. Here we find ourselves in Southern California coming from many different lands. I'm the descendant of former slaves and there are others who've come from different backgrounds, but together as the Ummah of Muhammad, as Muslims loving each other as Muslims, we are able to do the work, not do the talk, but do the work. And this is why we thank Allah for this difficult moment. We don't run from this, we embrace this because inshallah, this will be that which inshallah will place us inshallah in a place where we will be more than pleased in the akhirah. And again, understanding and knowing that that is the prize, that is the goal. Again, reaching out to our elders in the community who maybe don't have children or don't have children near or close around that we find ways to inshallah call them. Again, just being available is one of the most positive things that we as a Muslim community can do. And this is why it's so beautiful when you see in all of the different massages and Islamic centers throughout Southern California each week passing and distributing food to their neighbors, opening up their doors where the children can be able to find a safe space. And again, being available just as another brother or sister, sometimes without words, just our presence of being there and just comforting them to know that we're side by side with them. And again, for our brothers and sisters who are overseas and who are going through difficulties that they know that their brothers in America and their sisters have not forgotten them, but are making du'as for them. And thanks to Allah's blessing so many Muslims in America to be successful financially, that Muslims in America, alhamdulillah, do send large amounts of assistance and aid to their brothers and sisters in other areas of the world. This is the most beautiful thing. This is why we, we thank Allah that he's given us all of these avenues that we can continue to do good. So again, we are talking about that we're good. We're showing we're good. We're living good. We're letting our children witness their grandparents and their parents doing these things so that inshallah, we're modeling the behavior of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and modeling the behavior of the Sahabas so that our children inshallah won't be just going by our words, but inshallah, they can say, we wanna follow the action of my grandmother and my grandfather. And though they may be the third or the fourth generation here and they embrace here, but they embrace their faith. They embrace this guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. And he's given us a way to get through this. And this is why, again, we're so grateful that we have the words, we have the message. And we know that the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala touches our hearts. And it does give ease in times of discomfort. It does give a balance, inshallah, in our lives for those who have relatives overseas. And they know there's nothing they can do but turn to Allah. They know that through calling upon Allah, to watch over their relatives overseas, calling upon Allah to comfort their relatives overseas. They know that Allah responds and they know that they have done their due diligence and they've done something good by acting upon what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us and instructed us to do, to do good by each other, to do good for each other, to bring peace to each other. And this is why inshallah, as we witness, inshallah, the endings of some of the conflicts in the Muslim lands, we want to prepare, inshallah, generations here that will be a part of, inshallah, the reconciliation of our brothers and sisters, because there's going to need an opportunity for them to reconcile the brothers in Afghanistan and the brothers in Syria, the brothers in Libya. There's going to need be a, a need for them to reconcile. And inshallah, we want to be able to be a part of that reality, a part of that brotherhood as Muhammad has called us, a Muslim is a Muslim. And as Muhammad وسلم, has instructed us, that you will not believe 
you will not believe until you love for your brother what you love for yourself, that you want for your brother what you want for yourself. And we want ease for our brothers. We want peace for our brothers. We want the best for them. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our efforts. All we can do is make efforts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over outcomes. But if we can do the best that we can and encourage each other to do good, encourage each other to support the massages and Islamic centers, they need the support. They need the financial stimulus so they can continue to do the work. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts that as part and parcel when he talks about those who believe in about establishing the prayer. Then he also talks about those who give. Give just to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever you give, you're just putting it aside for yourself because you don't lose nothing that you give to keep the masjid open, to keep the Islamic center open, to keep it available to provide these wonderful programs. So many wonderful things are happening for our youth, giving them a, an outlet, giving them a mechanism that is safe, that is secure, giving them a way that they can express themselves, a way that they can be able to, inshallah, shine what Allah SWT has placed in their hearts and that they can, again, be the shining mirrors of what we hope for them to be. But we're not just hoping, we're giving them, inshallah, the tools so that they will be successful because it's not just about hope. It's about us establishing the reality as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he established the reality. He brought together men and women of different realities and different classes and different ethnicities and showed us that it wasn't about talk, it was about the work and the action and he interacted with those of other ways, all for good. And so we thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for this community that is doing so many wonderful things. We thank him for all of the Muslims throughout this country and all of the Muslims throughout the world and all of the good people. For there are other good people that are doing good things in partnership with us. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to be collectively together in this moment to reflect what is best. For allowing me to be a part of this. We were honored to have you here, uh, Imam Abu Ishaq. This was beautiful, very inspirational message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your family. And we would love to hear you and listen to you more, inshallah. Inshallah. And I want to publicly invite you, inshallah, when this is over, to please come and visit us and to grace oh, us, inshallah, on one of the khutbahs, inshallah. So you are in Long Beach, as far as I is, is that from your uh, short bio, you mentioned that you are at Masjid al Sharif in Long Beach. Yes. Yourself, inshallah, I would love to come and visit you. Inshallah. One person, inshallah. <laughs> Thank you for accepting our invitation and we would love to see you again. Thank you. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm going to call the adhan, inshallah, and then, and then we'll pray Salat al-Aisha. After Aisha prayer, I'll come and uh, if you have any question, I'll try to uh, check the chat box. Just quickly, I would like to respond one of our uh, uh, sisters i believe asking that if they are visible uh, i just want to let you know that this is a uh, um we, we only only the the speakers are visible don't worry about that you are not seen by anyone else i just want to comfort you and respond to you instead of typing so if anyone of you are wondering that only the speakers are visible you are not visible so be okay be comfortable inshallah thank you <clears throat> Allah 
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله عي على الصلاة عي على الصلاة عي على الفلاح عي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا والصلاة القائمة آت محمدا الوسيلة والفضيلة والدرجة الرفيعة وضعت مقام محمدا الذي وعدت إنك لا تفق معادة الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر شهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك 
فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Maliki Yawm إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والعصر إن سان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر تحيات الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم صلوات الذين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر تحيات لدنا صلى الله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله 
استغفر الله العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو اللهم انت السلام منك السلام تبارك يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم اعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم اعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله والله اكبر ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم لا تاخذه سنه ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الارض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده الا باذنه يعلم ما بين ايديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه الا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والارض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم سبحان الله 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 سبحان سبحان الله 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 الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الله اكبر 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 لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اللهم ابسط علينا من بركاتك ورحمتك وفضلك ورزقك و الله bestow on us from your blessings mercy grace and provisions اللهم انا نسالك النعيم المقيم الذي لا يحول ولا يزول O oh Allah, we ask you for the eternal delight that never ends or fades away. Allahumma habib ilayna al-eemana wa zayinhu fi kulubina wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wal-fusuqa wal-asyan wa ja'alna min al-rashidin. O oh Allah, make faith dear to us and beautify it in our hearts and make disbelief, sin and disobedience dislike to us and make us among the rightly guided. Allahumma inna nas'aluk al-huda wa tuqa والعفاف والغنى و الله we ask you for guidance تقوى virtue and sufficiency اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا و الله give quick healings for those who are sick and please bless the souls of those who passed away اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات And there was a dua request, and please keep him in your prayer, in your prayers. Brother Mahd Ghani Shah is at ICU now, uh, and he is very ill. Please keep him in your prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him shifa, quick healing, inshallah. Ameen. Wa sallillahum ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين احد من رسله 
وقالوا سمعنا وطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهتنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الطالين آمين Thank you so much brothers and sisters for joining us tonight and I would like to thank our Imam again, Imam Abu Ishaq, for that beautiful uh, talk. Uh, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and bless his family. And please keep him and me and all of us in your prayers that inshallah we can get together and reflect upon the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you. Have a great night. And see you on Thursday, inshallah, at 8.30 p.m. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.